I apologize in advance if you can hear the leaf blower guy outside. He is just trying to earn a living. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really, really cool and exciting video for you. It's a first on my channel. I have been thinking about doing this concept for a really, really long time or adding this segment to my channel for so long, but I just felt like I didn't have any cool materials to show while I was doing this. I didn't have anything that would just look good on camera at all. But then a couple weeks ago, this really cool company reached out to me and asked me to do a review on some of their products. And thus, this video idea was born. If you haven't figured it out already from the title, the thumbnail, and my excitement, I am doing my very first journal with me video. I am so pumped. I, at the time that I'm filming this, I've already done it, but I'm just kind of like going to recap with you guys and talk about the products before we like get into the whole journaling bit. So the company that reached out to me was Arteza and they basically do a lot of different art materials. So they do crayons, they do markers, they do paints. They do a lot of really beautiful things. I'll put like a little screenshot of their website right here. This company, oh my gosh, I actually had seen something about this company a while back but I didn't really know anything about them. I didn't know if they were like a good company until one of my really close friends on booktube, Sabrina, actually mentioned this company and was like, oh my god, I love them. And I was like, whoa, this is a sign because Sabrina's like an actual artist. So that was all the validation that I needed. And so basically, Arteza sent me two products from their website. By the way, this video is not sponsored at all. It is just me doing a review of the products because I tried them out. So I'm really being very honest with you. And in the journal with me segment you guys will see my like first swatches of everything so you know exactly what the stuff looks like and spoiler alert the stuff is literally amazing like i was honestly blown away oh my god wow i have never ever owned any professional art stuff in my whole life but seeing this was just like really amazing and and arteza is having a sale right now guys like they're gonna have christmas sales and my subscribers are going to get an extra 10% off their orders. I'm going to have like a link down below and some information on the screen and other stuff. And if you are an artist, you can also check out their YouTube channel for more inspiration. I actually did this. I checked out their channel. And then I also checked out a lot of other videos and reviews of the company to kind of like figure out what I wanted to get. And honestly... I was not disappointed. But anyways, let's talk about the stuff they sent me before you guys are here for like five hours. So the first thing that I got was the Arteza 72 watercolor pencils for experts. Oh my god, it like matches my shirt. I just feel like that's a major sign. If you needed one, here it is right here in your face. Um, we're going to open this and I'm going to just show you guys. BT Dubs, I did color in some more afterwards. So the color pencils are not as sharp as they were when they sent them to me. But this is what they look like. Oh my god, guys. It's so, like, pretty. And you literally get it in this case. You can, like, replace them as you please. I don't know. It's just so nice. I feel like it's really cool when you just get something in such a nice, beautiful package. Like, I really love tie-dye, if you can't tell. And I don't know where I was going with that, but I just really, really, really love tie-dye. It is my favorite color. Yes, it's a color. I count it as a color. Well, it's one of my favorite colors. This and Tiffany blue. But anyways, like, oh. So the second thing that they sent me was this set right here. And this is the 60, I need to look it up on my computer because I know I'm going to say the whole like thing wrong. So this is the 60 watercolor marker set. Everblend art markers. I told you guys I was going to say it wrong. But it's the 60 Everblend art markers. This, guys, this bag alone, tell me that this isn't like fashionista, legend, like runway what is this it's beautiful so how you get this is like you kind of open it and then you unclip it so when you open it you get all these colors in here 
Oh my god. By the way, I'm gonna link all the stuff that, like these two things. I said all the stuff as if I had like five million things. But I'm gonna link both of these things in the description so you guys can check it out your sale. But like, oh my god. This is like so many markers. More markers than I know to do with. It also has this little area where if you buy more markers, you can just add them right here and not have to buy a whole different bag, which I think is really cool if you're somebody who really uses markers a lot. If you journal a lot, this is literally the perfect, these two things are literally perfect for you if you journal. I actually want to go on a shopping spree on this website now because I just feel like their stuff is just such good quality. Obviously, you guys won't believe me until you actually see them, but I just feel like it's amazing quality. So now that I've like wasted copious amounts of your lifespan, I'm going to show you guys the spread that I actually made in this video before we get into the whole nitty gritty. I'm also going to be trying to do a voiceover for the section where I'm doing the little like <laughs> trying to be a journey with me star. I'm going to show you guys and talk about my process and whatever. There is no process. It's just crackhead energy. But anyways, this is the spread that I created last night with all of those markers and the colored pencils and stuff. Oh my god, it's just so beautiful. And I'm just really excited to show it with you. By the way, this is just my bullet journal. I only have one bullet journal right now that I actually use, but I just love it so much. And I don't know, the spread is just really beautiful. But don't take my word for it. Take the journal with me clip for it. That's also technically my word. But anyways, let's get into the journal with me. Hey guys, so before we get started, you'll notice that the camera is kind of like facing you in a weird way. I'm so sorry for that. I was trying to figure out how to show you guys all of the products without having it in a weird angle and without showing the little camera thingy, but this is what I figured out and sorry if it bothers you, but I just couldn't figure out any other way to flip it without it looking really, really weird. But anyways, as you can see right here, I am just demoing all the different colors to show you guys what they look like specifically and all the pigments. They are so pigmented, like I'm not even kidding. The colors are so nice. And I'm just like, I'm still shook. So, yeah. Next, I'm showing you guys the markers and what they look like i actually really love these markers because they're so nice and pristine looking and i just think they're absolutely gorgeous and right here i'm going to start swatching them the same way i did with the colors So here I am starting page one of the spread and I actually have been super obsessed with this k-pop group called Itzy. I don't know if you guys have heard of them but they are literally amazing and I've been like so crazy about their music lately. Specifically one of their songs Dala Dala. Oh my god. If you haven't heard this song please go and listen to it immediately. It is so good. I honestly listen to it like eight times every single day. I'm not even joking. Like, I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not. But anyways, this is me setting up for that spread. And yeah, I just printed out a bunch of random pictures that I saw on Google that I really, really loved, specifically from the Dalla Dalla music video. And then there's one that wasn't, but I didn't end up using that picture. <laughs> I'm not 
So when I was first deciding what kind of spread I wanted to do for the Itzy like spread, I struggled because I was like, oh my God, what do I want to do? Because I don't really think about my plan beforehand. I don't know if people do, but I definitely don't. And so I was like, oh my God, I have all these Polaroids. And I decided to use them because I thought they would look really good with the spread. And I hadn't used them before. And I was just like really, really excited because, oh my God, it was just so pretty. And I got all these online. So yeah, you can just find them like on AliExpress or something. They were so good. And I just feel like the markers just looked so good with the spread, specifically with the washi tape. I just thought it was like gorgeous. <laughs> You guys totally won't be able to know or tell in the video, but making a page two for this spread or rather like going back and doing a page one was a super last minute decision because I realized, oh my gosh, I started doing this spread on the second page and not the first. So then I was like, shoot, I guess I had to do a first page now. So that's why the second page was the first one I did and the first page is the last one I did. I don't know if anyone picked up on that, but yeah, I was like, oh my God, literal crackhead energy but it looks really good so i'm not upset about it at all but i just thought i would expose myself <laughs> So I couldn't figure out what to put in the second area. So what I did instead was I wrote all the girls' names in both English and Hangul. And then I just like did a bunch of hearts and added more pictures because I just I couldn't figure out what to do. And I didn't want it to be like a blank space in comparison to the other page that was completely stacked up. And then after doing all of that, I just went back with the color pencils and added more hearts and colored in different areas of the spread so it was kind of cohesive. And that was the end of me doing the whole fixing up afterwards. And now I'm going to show you guys my like end product of what the spread ended up looking like. Once I'd gone back, colored in things, added more stickers, different things like that. <laughs> So now that you've seen the journal with me, I hope you guys loved the products and I hope you loved my journal with me and my spread. I know it was kind of like crazy and all over the place. I'm super new to doing this and I just wanted to like share the excitement of journaling with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a warm hug and a smoosh and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.